Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Thursday means Pioneer, so let's just dive into this deck dump. There are 28 decks in today's dump, and uh, let's see if there's anything spicy. First off, we've got Bant Spirits, which is pretty straightforward. Permeating Mass in the sideboard is an entertaining option here against certain decks. That's always kind of fun to turn all their creatures into permeating masses. All right, so that is that. That was from NS Roller. Jabberwocky here with a 5-0 with, looks like, Sultai. Sultai Delirium. Two Atris. I've seen one most frequently, but two is a perfectly fine way to go. A couple Deathrite Shaman. Nice. Okay. Four Uro, three Traverse, four Thoughtseize. That's uh, one of the top three or four decks in the format, definitely. Papalucho 10 with a mono red deck. What do we got going in this one? This one is on the more aggressive side. It looks like we're topping out at Rampaging Ferocidon. A little bit of a wizard sub theme to it with the Wizard's Lightnings. Um, but yeah, uh, good old mono red. The Flash 1313 with SRAM Auras. Um, straightforward list here. Don't really see anything unusual. Three hush, three Hushbringer side is a little high. But uh, yeah, the Flash 1313. Good job there. Phoenix 50 with mono black. This is the normal mono black aggro version. No vampire or zombie themes going on here. Just straightforward mono black, four Mutavolt. Not really doing any devotion stuff here, just being aggro. Bolt 31415 with Kethis Combo. Finally started to show up in the preliminaries. We've been seeing it, of course, here in the leagues, uh, usually once per dump. But uh, it's finally starting to show some results in the uh, preliminary uh, results as well. So. Combo deck for you to try, if that's your thing. Ghash 77 with uh, Mono White Heliod. Anything cool and new in this one that I'm not used to seeing? Not really. Looks pretty straightforward. Very streamlined sideboard. 4443. Four, three. Doesn't get much easier than that. 2 by 4 Bridges. Two by, two by four bridges, something like that. Uh, what do we got? We've got a prowess, mono red prowess, storm chaser mage, soul scar mage, monastery swift spear, uh, blue red, but yeah, prowess deck. A little tweak on, you know, get you dead red. This is get you dead blue red. Gazmon 48 with red green aggro. Uh, this is Atarka Gruel. We've got four Gallias. This is the uh, the aggressive version. There's no Clothus in here. We've got Zergo Bell Striker, Bushwhackers, Cacklers. Yeah, this is this is the low to the ground Gruel deck. Atarka Gruel. How's with a 5-0 with a similar build. What do we got different going on here? We do have Domri. Uh, we've got a more spread out creature threat package. 35 creatures instead of 33. No Ember Cleaves. Excuse me. And it's, uh, but it's the same idea, right? Uh, we are topping out at Hazaret here. So we do have a four drop where we don't really in the prior deck. So it's a little bit bigger, um, probably a little bit slower, but might hit a little harder. Flossing with a 5-0 uh, looks like blue-white control, Esper control. One Elspeth conquers death, a couple different Elspeths in the main, a couple different Teferis, Gideon and Narset. Yep, Esper control. 
for you control players out there. Not a single creature main and one drain trawler inside. There is one creature in this 75. Amenities with the Lotus Breach combo. I don't see any new revelations in this build off the top of my head. Yep, that is your Lotus Breach combo deck. Tyler J.J. O'Brien with Niv Mizzet. And this is a pretty straightforward. So he's been playing Nicol Bolas in the main here as a secondary threat. You can't hit it with Niv Mizzet, but man, if you get that card down and you get it to flip, that's a beating. Um, and a little bit of extra hand disruption never hurts, right? So, uh, yeah, where some people have in the past used Siege Rhino as the three-color uh, alternate uh, win con of choice, Nicol Bolas is an interesting one because it is also a flyer in addition to being, um, you know, a beast to deal with for, for flying with a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So, uh, yeah. Interesting little tweak here. Blood Baron in the side. We've been seeing that more and more. The usual cast of characters in this deck, other, other than the uh, Nickel Bullis. Lawton SS with Hardened Scales. One Rishkar. And that's about what we got going on. Two Scavenging Oozes. Those are always handy. Wardico 1 with Demir Inverter. No Jace Friends Prodigy in this build. But uh, yeah, there's your number one deck in the format right there. Uh, we did, he does have two Jace in the side. I apologize. Just not in the main, in the main deck. Utia with 5-0 with blue-white control. A somewhat different build than the one we just saw. Definitely uh, a little harder, I think, on the counter. Counter and removal. Two Dream Trawlers on the side. And again, this is blue-white instead of Esper. So that's why we're seeing both. Suseki with blue-white spirits. I think Bant has kind of prevailed in the battle between Blue White and Bant for which is the best Spirits build, but this is better if you want to be a little more aggressive on top of your disruption. Antonio with oh, the Dragon Fodder deck. Bomat Courier, yeah, here's another mostly Goblins. This is pretty much a Goblin deck outside of the Courier and the Emissary. But yeah, again, another a Tarka Red. Um, we are only splashing green for a Tarkas command, and what it, you know, your green comes out of Burning Tree Emissary. Do have Destructive Revelry in the side. Um, Gruel Charm, Gruel Charm in the side. That's cool. Interesting. Uh, yeah, here's here's another low to the ground Gruel attacking deck. Tai Tai one two three with a mono white soldiers or we humans? I think we're humans in this one. Brave the elements. This is white's version of what we saw above with red. Right. This is low to the ground attack, get you dead. Uh, venerated locks it on to kind of make your stuff bigger to make them bigger threats. Thalia's lieutenant. Uh, to, again, make them bigger, make them bigger threats. Soldier of the Pantheon is great in certain circumstances. I can imagine this might get sided out against a fair number of decks with protection from multicolored and mono-colored decks are a feature of Pioneer. But, uh, yeah. Why weenie? There you go. Baby Bop with another mono-white deck. This one is Heliod, Arcanus Owl, Sky Sovereign. This is probably the number two deck in the format right now, behind Demir Inverter. Uh, some have Sky Sovereign, some don't. But uh, yeah, this is 
top of the format, this deck right here. MF Muller with, oh, this is a black red hand disruption. Goblin Dark Dwellers. It's kind of a black red mid range. Yeah. That looks like fun. Little on the uh, disruptive side of mid range. Yeah. So black red mid right there. Good deck. Jinmatsu, what you got? This is. Is this the quote mono green ramp? Yeah, that splashes blue for uh, Uro. Nissa, Ugin, Emrakul, World Breaker. Yeah, mono green. I call it Simic Ramp in my uh, preliminaries reviews. Uh, it gets called mono green ramp on Goldfish. It's not mono green. It does have Uro. And it has some blue stuff in the side. So it's a Simic Ramp deck. Uh, Deef, Deify, Dify, zero, 00. Yeah. Uh, another mono red deck. Lots of mono red today. This one is this one's got Robber the Rich, but this is this is a Get 'Em Dead Red. Th again, topping out at three for Rampaging Ferocidon. So yeah, aggressive lists today, and following up on that, we've got a Coco deck. What do we got? This is Gruel Coco. One Clothis. Everything else is a three drop or less. Three Embercleave. So this is probably the biggest of the Gruel slash Red decks we've seen in the list today. But it is still very aggressive. And Coco's a nice catch-up mechanism. Thank you, uh, Pion Pionig. Hexapus with Insole Artifact. This one is the blue-red version, not the four-color version. My son just built the four-color version last night. Haven't yet. We've yet to play it. Uh, we're kind of revamping what we've got done in paper and uh, tore down all our decks. And he built the four-color Insole Artifact deck, and I built Mono Green Walkers and we will probably build two or three other decks and just see where things go. Of course, Ikoria could change a lot of that. Be watching uh, how Pioneer is affected by what Ikoria does. It looks like it's going to have quite a bit of impact. Zernak with... Is this Jeskai Control? Looks like Jeskai Control. Jeskai Fires. Okay. Okay. So, or Jeskai Walkers, however you want to call it, but uh, Jeskai Firewalkers, going back to, uh, um, oh, my brother would kill me. I can't remember the name of the show. Firewalk with me was uh, Twin Peaks. That's it. Uh, anyway, Jeskai Firewalkers. Uh, sort of a control deck, sort of a mid-range deck, probably more mid-range, but it def definitely has control elements. Avocado Toast with yet another mono red deck. And this one is. This one has Tor Brands. It's one of. So topping out at a four drop. Um, oh, Tor Brand and Eidolon of Great Revelt just sounds like a nasty combination. Yeah, that's going to catch some people. Um, yeah. Another mono red. There's. What is that? The fourth one? Third or fourth? in this list and our last list today is from canister and it is the mono green walkers deck this is slightly different than the build i put together um canister has two voracious hydras and four genesis hydras where i have one genesis hydra and four voracious hydras it's all in how you want to build it um yeah Lots of different ways to tweak tweak the deck around, but uh, yeah, this is you know right below that top tier. This deck is fighting it out with the rest of them. So uh, definitely some aggressive lists today. Lots of uh, 
aggro gruel and mono red and mono white and uh, yeah interesting to see how things are developing here and you know what the next week of events look like uh, if things are taking an aggressive bent that'll be interesting to see how the meta adjusts all right thanks a bunch for watching today if you do like what i'm doing here please like subscribe hit the bell to, to know when my next video goes up etc etc i do appreciate it a ton thanks a bunch and we will be back tomorrow with modern bye bye